ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Sad Onion. As always, I'm your host, Vase, and today we're going to be making a coconut curry. Um, so as you can see, I have the potatoes and the chicken already in our slow cooker. We are going to do this in a slow cooker. I'm going to add our coconut milk and uh, try to get as much of that fat off the top uh, as you can. Obviously, you're not going to be able to get all of it, but um, try to get a, as much as you can um, because we're not going, we don't really want too much. That one had a little bit more than I thought it did, but that's okay. You know, having too much or having too little um, isn't going to ruin things. It just um, makes the dish a little bit more presentable so that it doesn't separate it at high temperatures. Uh, it's not actually fat, so... Or it, it is actually fat, but it's not like dairy fat. Um, so we're going to add our uh, lemongrass. I put in some lemon juice. Again, this isn't actually dairy, so it's not going to curdle. Uh, the fat does tend to curdle a little bit, which is why you want to get a lot off. The second can had so freaking much, I didn't even expect that. Um, this has some diced Thai chilies. We're not going to make this too spicy, um, mostly because I want to share this with people. Um, this has cumin, turmeric, which is going to give us a nice yellow color. I'm probably going to add a little bit more turmeric, actually. And uh, that's actually going to be enough sauce. Um, if you don't have enough sauce, you can substitute like a, a, a chicken broth. So we're just going to pour that in. This also has some chili powder, as you'd imagine, and uh, a little bit of diced garlic in there as well. So that's going to give us our fav flavor profile. Um, I'm going to add in, and we just, just want to get that all mixed up. Um, we're going, we are going to, once uh, this is well along the way, add, and it's already got a nice yellow color, I'm actually going to add a splash more uh, turmeric in there because I really didn't add a whole lot compared to the other uh, spices. Um, we are, we are, you can even see some of the, the Thai chili that I didn't quite uh, grind up as well as I could have. Um, we are going to add onion to this and we are going to add some green onion to this at about the hour to two hour mark. Ooh, wrong place. There we go. Just going to give us a little more. Uh, if you've never tasted turmeric on its own, it has a very heavy kind of celery taste. I also put in some brown sugar into that mix because this is unsweetened light coconut milk. It doesn't look too terribly light to me, but that's what the can said. So I'm also using um, chicken thighs because they have a lot higher fat content and thus will be better for the slow cooker and you don't necessarily want to completely submerge your meat um, so once the onions go in this won't be quite submerged but I, I want to have the onions keep their um, their crunch so we're not going to go wild on on them so I'm gonna put this in our slow cooker just right here we're gonna put the top on and then I do believe we're going to have to, uh, is that the right plug? No, there's the right, there's the right plug. Kitchen's not, whoop, exactly, uh, well designed for, uh, cameras there. Uh, so I'm going to put it on low for the first two hours. Oh, and it already unplugged. This plug, man, is really loose. So we're going to have this with rice, as we often do, and I'm also going to make a bit of a small, um, a small salad to go along with it um, with some spinach, just some lettuce and some red pepper which and some cucumber which should give us a nice counterbalance to this what I hope will be sweet and savory dish. So uh, we will be back when I add the onion I guess. About an hour so I'm gonna throw in our diced onion and separate them as well by hand. Um, and then I'm going to crank this up too high um, and then let it go for a couple hours. And uh, It's a pretty, pretty simple recipe, I'd say. I saw it on a, a, a food blog uh, and it sounded pretty good to me. Uh, they added a whole bunch of stuff that um, I didn't, but that's okay. You don't need to add everything. Uh, they added like cauliflower and stuff, and I don't really like cauliflower, although I should probably eat more of it. They also added uh, 
veal stock, which we're not adding veal stock to our, our, our meal. Uh, maybe if I do uh, this idea that I've got for a series about the mother sauces, then maybe we will do something with veal stock because you actually need it for one of the, the five mother sauces. So we're just going to incorporate this. This onion came out smaller than I, I expected actually, uh, which is a shame, but not the end of the world. Alright, we'll just add those. I turned it up to high. incorporate that sauce is nice and yellow it's exactly the color I want the chicken as you can see is starting to starting to cook thoroughly the outside of the pots pretty hot so we'll just come back at the end when I when I set up the plate with the salad I guess um, I am also going to add the green onion but I'm going to do that at the very 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 end actually we'll just do it can see you. That's gonna burn the shit out of my hands. Okay. Making a bit of a mess in the kitchen. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't be. Let's not uh, set our, our oil on fire. Always wash your green onion. Where, that's it. There it is. Really, really well because you never know, especially if you get working the green onion, you never know when you're going to get um, a, a bad sprig or a sprig that wasn't cleaned very well. And that'll just keep you safe from, you know, getting any foodborne illnesses like salmonella. Um, and you don't want to, you don't want that. So I'm just gonna get these things quick run down with the water. Just make sure that you get inside the tubes. Um, wow, this one is real not healthy. So here we are. Just cut off these little fronds. Ooh, just let me stab myself with a knife. That would have been the first on-air injury to have happened. And we're just going to very finely dice these down. And then green onion. I like the, the flavor of green onion. I actually have a green onion sauce that my family makes when we used to do lobster. All my family is actually from Maine, and they all are ex-lobster farmers. Although I'm pretty sure some of them continue the, uh, the tradition. I just don't know how many. I haven't been there in a good long while. And we'll just continue to... So maybe I'll, I'll make the green onion sauce sometime. my eyes. Uh, so we'll just go like that. And we'll just dump the rest in. There we go. It's all about adding your own flavors to your curry. So that's nice and done. Lid back on, and I really should put this on a plate. So, so, I don't so we'll be back at the plating, guys. All right. So uh, I have our salad and our rice and our chicken. So I'm gonna try a bit of the rice with the sauce. We did get a little grainy, but ooh, it's a nice flavor, and it has a nice heat to it too. Not very, you know, too spicy. Potatoes are done great. Taste that chicken. Very well. Mm. It all came out pretty nicely. Um, could have probably gone harder on the, uh, the cumin, but got a nice coconut taste. The curry flavor is just a little subdued. Um, mostly because the sauce didn't really have a lot, a lot of time to uh, boil down, so I'm gonna try some of the some of the salad with the sauce and the rice and the chicken. See how it all pairs up. The chicken is really tender. This is why you do it this way. Mm. 
Well, oh, that cucumber really, really helps this sort of thing. And of course, the the red pepper adds a nice bit of not a citrusy flavor, but you know what I mean. That nice sharp pepper flavor. Hmm. And it all just kind of comes apart. And kind of lends itself to one another. You could put a bit of dressing on the salad if you wanted. I'd go with an oil and vinegar. Maybe a little lemon juice. Just to kind of complement the rest of the flavors, but... That sauce is so nice on its own. There's not a lot of chicken on my plate. And that's okay. Not the worst thing to happen. But, um... Hmm. I should have left this go overnight with just the chicken. But, um, I didn't really feel like, uh... The sauce would allow for that. Once the chicken started breaking down, the fat kind of came together with the, the coconut fat. It kind of did the, the curdling that I talked about. It was a shame, but you win some, you lose some. I could have also added a little bit more brown sugar to this, but um, that's not bad. I know ways to improve that. It's a start. A nice slow cooker meat uh, dish. And ever, you should have one or two of those. Um, obviously, we've done sour broughton, which is really good. And uh, we've, we've done other stuff in the past. Sorry. In the slow cooker, but more don't hurt. Especially if you need to leave the house for a while. You can let it go if you're not afraid of burning your house down. So. Or maybe you want to burn your house down. I, I'm not going to judge you. You do what you do. But, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's where I'll leave it. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Bon appétit.